I'll tell you why I'm saying this. Uh, many times we don't know that out of our faith there is victory. We don't know that. And we don't know that whatever we are facing is there to tempt if we have faith. Because the moment you receive the word, out of the word you are receiving, temptation will come. So many times we question our temptations and we forget that that temptation came because of what? Of the word that is building up something in you. The word of God creates. The word of God does what? So when it's in you, it's creating something. So now when it's pushing something, there have to be a pressure in the kingdom of darkness automatically you will begin to see this and that. Sometimes you need to rejoice when you see temptations because temptations are there to tell you that there is something in you. And that thing, before it materializes, Satan knows it's there. So before God brings it out, are you hearing me? Before God does what? Satan knows it is there. So Without the word, there is no challenge. Tell anybody, without the word of God in you, there is no challenge. You are, you are empty, you are useless, you are finished. So any challenge you see is there because of the word of God in you. So... From today, learn how to react or you, out of your, of your challenge. Because what matters is your reaction. What matters is your answer. You give against that challenge. You know, if you know that the Bible says we are more than the conquerors, it means though you are facing all these challenges, you are still a winner. I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah. Though you are facing what you are facing, you are still what? A winner. You are not a loser because of what you are facing. So that's what the Bible says. You are facing temptation because of that challenge. That challenge, you still have to overcome it because of the word of God in you. You are a winner because of the word of God. If the word of God is in you, you are a winner. And the word of God came by faith. And, I mean, faith came by the word of God. I mean, these are two things, they just work together. And when you have faith, you please Jesus. Or you please, you please God. And in the book of Hebrews, it says, he who comes to God must believe he is. That he is a rewarder automatically. If now you are pleasing God already, the rewarder is closer to you to reward you. So today, I want to say you're going to be blessed. Yeah. Did you hear the introduction I'm giving you? Can I say it again? Huh? Let me say it from here, where I was standing. Any challenge challenge you are facing is searching for the word of God. Any challenge. challenge. And I was going there. Look at me. Listen to what I was going there. I will tell you where I was going. And I <inaudible> said what I said. When I was going there, I said, without a challenge, you don't have the word of God. When I was reaching here, I said, <inaudible> the reason why you are challenged Satan knows what the word of God is doing on you before you see it. Because many of you don't know that the word of God is pushing the darkness. And the darkness reacts. Because the darkness knows very well that God is creating something out of that way. Because the word of God is the creator. 
So when the word of God is busy creating, so creating, 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 creating and is in you, challenges, challenges will come searching for that word. Like the word of God can create a car in you before you have it in your hand. Create a house in you before you have it. The word of God create a healing before the manifestation of the healing is happening in your flesh. So Satan will make sure that he will come with his cords to bring challenges to remove your focus on what the word of God is doing. Because many of us now, we're facing forward, but we are facing aside. Why? Because we are looking on what Satan is doing and we forget what the word of God is creating in us, which is in front of us there. When the word of God is creating a car in front of us, Satan creates something to make us to look there. And we tend to face there. When we move forward, we miss our car here. So temptations are there to challenge the word of God in you. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Because of the word of God, temptation came. The reason why you are facing what you are facing is not because you are a loser. Already you are a winner because you have the word of God in you which is creating what Satan is saying before your neighbor sees it. That is why even people that, you know, Satan is assigning because they can't see what the word of God is doing in you. They can still stand with Satan to challenge you. Because they can't see and you are the only one who is having the word. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says I'm a healer, I'm healed. The Bible says I'm blessed. The Bible says I'm a winner. The Bible says I'm the head. So the moment you are speaking that, you are fighting what Satan is trying to do around you. So the challenges can be more stronger than what you expect. Christianity is ranged, is ranged by how you approach your opposers. Let me say it again. Christianity Puluso. in your life Upilongba is lina. raised by how Kauri. you approach lina lina juang. your opposers. Ubaba hane if now you are being opposed because of the word in you, you still stand in the word to Wano swallow up lina. what is opposing you. But if you are opposed, you fail to shallow it. It means it will change your direction and you go another direction. You have lost it. When somebody insulted you, your respond matters a lot. That is why we were called by God. We cannot stand here and talk, about, and talk about that one, that man of God is Satan. That one is, is a big man. That one is a small man. We stand here, we speak the words. We speak the words. Because the word is what you need. Once it's in you, it pushes away Satan. It makes you to expand. The word of God is important for us. Now, don't look at your yourself by the situation you are facing. Look at yourself by how you respond to that situation. If now you are sick, your reaction is questioned. You can't turn around and say, you know, 
The Bible is telling me that tell me that I can be sick and die that's fine. Automatically you will quote scripture. I don't know if you are hearing me. You will quote what? The scripture. God, I know this is not my will. This is not your will because by your stripes we are we are healed. So the moment you are doing that, when Satan was causing there, he would draw. And sometimes God can allow him for a while so that your action towards the challenging your face can prove you that you are what you are saying. If not, you will be questioned because you have to be approved by showing victory after you have experienced oh, what you have experienced. I don't know if you are hearing that. That's your neighbor, say my friend. Do you understand that? Where I so, I want to thank God for your challenges today. Whether you like it or not, this challenge is very good for you. It's very, very good. Whether you like it or not. For me to be black, whether I like it or not, I won't change it. You understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. For someone to be white, you can't change it. So you can't find someone because he's white or you find someone because he's black. You can't change what... You know, there are things that you can't change. You can't find them. You need to go to the one who created it. If you want to overcome. As your neighbor say, what is your challenge? Don't change your focus. It means don't fail on your temptation. You hear what I'm trying to say? Amen. Many of you were supposed to be here a long time, but somebody changed your focus. And tell you that, oh, where are you going? It's not the man of God. No, if, even if you can stay in your church, that's fine. No. And, and you stay there, later you what found like something bad. Lori. And then then you begin to say, ah, I didn't know this. Some of you say, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that man is a witch. If you go there, that's why he's driving big cars. He's a killer. And they say, oh, can we leave people? Can we judge people by their challenges? Now, when I have to drive a big car, I have to be like you who have got your own challenge. I have my own challenge. Experience your own. Yours, you must drive a small car. I must drive a big car. And if you are driving a small car, that doesn't mean you are small. No, it's your own challenge. Even myself, I'm driving a big car. It's my own challenge. That's why I pour more petrol. It's That's my challenge. Yourself, you have got your own challenge. You are driving a small car. You must pour small petrol or an old petrol. Deal with your own challenge. Can, can you tell everyone? Deal with your own challenge. Deal with your own challenge. If you're a child of God now, you must deal with your own. Forget about the people. Eh? You're, you're wasting your time. If you take the word of God in you, you take the word of you are dealing with yourself. The word of God is the mirror. There are things that you need to remove out of you. Eh? The Bible says, when you look at the word of God, you are looking on the mirror. The more you look unto God, is the more you are perfected. You cannot be what God wants you to be unless you look at the word of God. And the word of God, when you shallow it up, it works on you. Can you go and read your Bible? Tell him, go, go and read your Bible. Can you ask your neighbor, say, when was the last time you read your Bible? Let me give you something before I close. Uh, the more you read your Bible, and the word of God becomes part of you, 
is the more you will see things the way God wants you to see. Can I tell you something that I found? The more you read the Bible, you will realize that you don't, you don't belong here. You just realize, ah, I don't belong here. The word of God teaches you that can you see this challenge? Can you see this challenge? Can you see this? It's because you don't belong here. Because even if you use this word of God to take money, to get cars, this, that, one day you will leave all this and go. So the word of God will teach you that one day you are going home and this is useless. And the more you read that way, and it makes you to seek him more. And there is something that will happen to you. Can I tell you? You will have peace that is above all this understanding. And from there, you won't sin. Because if you don't have money, peace. You are sick, peace. Rejected, peace. They are speaking against you, peace. Peace of holding Jesus. Amen. Peace of knowing you are going home. Peace of understanding that this life is short. Peace of believing in eternal life. Peace of knowing that devil can do whatever. He can bring sickness. He can bring challenges. He can try to kill your flesh. But one day, you are going to be with God. Viewers all over the world, the grace of God has appeared to you and you and you. Did you know that you can now watch Charis TV 24 hours wherever you are, whether on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, or your computer? All you have to do is log on to www.mystreamtv.co.za. Keep on watching Charis TV and stay blessed. You have the grace. Nobody can stop you. Be blessed. Amen.